Hello, and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 105, brought to you every Friday at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm Anton. Great to have you again with us, Hayden. Always good to be here, Anton. Uh, happy Friday to you. Thank you very much. Um, so th recently, um, a friend reached out and said, hey, you published this blog post almost five years ago. Is it still relevant? And I think those are the best tips. Um, if something is still relevant after five years, I mean, let's hear it. So that's the question, right? Let's, let's figure out if it's still relevant. Um, so um, I'll go ahead and share my screen and we might as well kick off the timer right away. We have only five minutes. Uh, we'll see what we get. So this was the blog post. It was about um, optimizing uh, your search engine optimization with a Google site map. Um, right. And I go through uh, why register a Google sitemap. And that was really quite important, particularly when we had um, this type of URL right here. Uh, this URL had, had issues, particularly with Google or any, anything, because they don't like to crawl the parameter. Right. So just to back up here, uh, the goal is to optimize your website for SEO. Well, optimize your website, but but even get them to to be willing to to um, to search it. Right? Uh, you, there's all kinds of content you can put on your page, but it's not going to help unless the the web the Google. Let's just go with Google. Actually, crawls your page. You have to tell Google, please crawl this page because it's not even going to crawl it if if your URL looks like this and you don't give it some instruction. Uh so how, um, uh, so with the old uh, URL format, it, it was harder. It, does the friendly URL solve the problem? It helps, but it doesn't solve it. And, and so really the reason it doesn't solve it is the same thing. A lot of pages in Apex are gonna have the format like this. And after that question mark, you're gonna still be passing in an ID. So Google's not gonna crawl this page. Even if you have a page like this, um, that has links to every, so this is a link to every one of my products, yeah. but Google's just not going to follow those links. And most, most search engines won't, they're not going to follow these links. And often these parameterized pages have the most valuable content that you want to broadcast to the web. That's right. That's right. Um, so if you're trying to sell something like, um, a portable DVD player, um, isn't everybody, uh, uh <laughs> you, you want, you want Google to, to search it. Um, yeah. All right, so, so how do you do it? Yeah, so how do you do it? So the, 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 this blog post, as it turns out, is still incredibly relevant. Almost everything in here is accurate. Um, I'll point out, I didn't even notice I had a bug right here. This shouldn't have two slashes, it should have one. But it tur turns out it, it still works, even with, even with two slashes. Um, but the idea um, is to tell Google to do it. So um, you go out, and I'm going to cover some more of this. I'm going to come back to this. But you go out to Google and there's a link. Oh, there's a link way at the top. I clicked right past it, um, right here. This link in the, the blog post tells you how to register your sitemap. So now all you need to do is have a sitemap. So get out your favorite editor and start typing. Well, we only have two minutes to go. I, I hope we'll see some code. <laughs> okay, so so um, you you're gonna um, you, of course you don't want to have to type every one of these things. You want to do it dynamically. So what I did was I created a package by a package, um, and this package interrogates Apex application pages, and it uses um, it, it looks for everything every page that doesn't require authentication, and it it um, it has a list here where you can say don't don't you know add these certain pages and. Ultimately, it uses Apex Prepare URL to actually get the URL. And that's key because now it's going to give you your friendly URLs. But this doesn't scrape the, um, this doesn't list the uh, parameters pages. It does not. So I have two different ones. One of them does, the, does no parameterized pages. The other one is exactly the same thing, but it adds this section right here, right here. So you would repeat this section for every one of your parameterized pages that you want it to, to scrape. So here, obviously, I need to know your table. I need to know where your, your primary key on that table is what the, and what the, the page's parameter is that you, you're going to pass into it. Right. So, so the first query, generic, everyone should use it. This one, we can't write for you. You have to figure it out yourself. 
That's exactly right. So you just repeat this over and over and over again. And then, and then you create a couple of, or really you only need one of these. If you're gonna do this, you're, you're gonna create a REST data source. Yeah. So you're gonna create a handler, that REST data source. It's simply gonna call that. And that's gonna build up the XML, pass the XML back. And you're gonna end up with XML that looks like this and register that with the Google sitemap uh, registry. And boom, there you go. It's gonna... And it's Probably. dynamic. Uh, every time Google chooses to scrape your website, it'll hit that URL and get the latest products that you have added. That's right. That's right. And you can you can look at the the definition of the Google site. Now you can add more to this XML. The XML is pretty straightforward. If you want more content in your XML, you can do that. Nice. That's our five minutes. Um, and uh, so I, I think you mentioned a few things that aren't yet in your blog. Um, uh, will you be updating your blog? I'll actually post a new blog uh, uh, post on apexdebug.com um, and that'll go out this weekend. Um, I had hoped to have it out. Um, uh, Michelle, this is interesting. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, come back to the comment from Michelle. Um, so, but, but let me return to uh, the, I'm going to update this. It'll be on apexdebug.com. Um, but for now, the, the one that's on, um, uh, that's on the blog at insum.ca is completely relevant. It Everything will work except that you're not going to get the friendly URLs. And so I'm going to update with uh, the new package that gets you the friendly URLs. It'll get, it'll create ch checksums if you have checksums on your pages. Um, if you, if you do have checksums on your pages, make sure that they work at the application level, not at the individual person's level, right? Cause that's, right. that they're not going to work that way, but, um, but it works. It works all the way. Michelle's point is interesting. Any thoughts on this? It requires us to have an understanding of how the Google optimization engine works, which I certainly don't. Yeah, well, and, and it changes day by day, right? Exactly how they optimize your search up here. But the, her point is, is valid because um, what we've done here is we've gotten them to actually at least come to the page and, and um, scrape, it. scrape the page, which before they wouldn't have done it. So if there was something on this page that, that wasn't in your, your other list, it, they wouldn't have seen it. Um, mm. But there are things you can do to optimize once they're scraping your page, what they see. But you mm. can also add to the XML that I have here, you can add additional metadata to the XML of your sitemap as, as well. Um, mm. So, but, but which things are more important to Google on a given day? You know, it, it changes. But as it turns out, it, it kind of, it tends to help if you can get the thing. So like if portable DVD player were actually in the URL, mm. right? Then, yeah. the, and so, Sometimes, you know, if, if we really get into SEO, sometimes it might make sense to actually add a different parameter to this. And, and the friendly URLs actually let you do this, actually let you do things like um, whatever, right? You can just throw an extra parameter on here, uh, equals, and then you could put in, you know, portable, right? You're, you could put this here and it still works. Oh, I, actually, I guess it doesn't. Um, I, it, it's, it, this also is version by version, but yeah. you could you could add your own dummy parameter for it. You could have a P0 parameter, right? That you just allow people to push things into and you could add that to your URLs. Yeah, and I don't know how much we care about what I'm about to say, which is um, sometimes it's nice to have a link that looks good when you share it. And right. if it's just an ID. Yeah, so there are all kinds of things that, that we could do to improve like the the the, the way the algorithm scores the page, but the step one is step one is get get the get this the crawler to actually crawl it because if it doesn't do that, you're not going to get anywhere, right? If it doesn't even come to the page, um, so this this gets Google to come to your pages, um, right? And I imagine many people don't have a sign up. Uh, I would guess that's true, um, and so that's actually step one, right? Just go out and register your site. This um, this link right here is is right here create uh, uh right here this tells you how to do it it's still completely relevant five years later um i thought the only thing that was ever relevant after five years was in fact apex but it turns out this 
this is still relevant um, as well. Um, it turns out Google has some longevity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you know? Yeah, Google's still relevant <laughs> five years later. Um, um, but this this whole conversation um, leads me to my uh, gripe of the week. <laughs> um, and we've talked about this gripe of the week. Uh, yes. d- d- and it, it actually drives on something else that you got. But um, my gripe of the week is searching for searching Google for stuff about Apex has always been hard because the term Apex is fairly generic. But if you if you if you put Oracle Apex in quotes in Google, right, you could you could get closer because you could do Oracle Apex, and then you might say. Um, Oracle text, right? Or, you know, text index, something mm-hmm. like that, right? Yeah. And, and you might you might find something about it, right? Well, so uh, to add more color to this, like if you want to search the documentation, there's no issue. Like you go to the documentation, you search within it. Yeah. Uh, but, the, the challenge emerges when what you're looking for is not in the documentation. Right, right, exactly. And so, and people use Google all, all the time, right? And And, and it's gotten worse lately when you do Oracle Apex text index or Oracle Apex, something like that with Oracle Apex in quotes. And the reason, and it kills me, but the reason is because Oracle switched the forums to use Oracle Apex. That's not the problem. The problem is at the bottom of every page of every form, it doesn't matter what form it is, it says built with love using Oracle Apex. Yeah. <laughs> it's, Oh, Oracle Apex together is on every answer of the Oracle forums. So if you're really looking about, you want to know, you know, about Oracle text indexes in Oracle Apex, you're going to find everything about Oracle text indexes, whether or not they're related to, to Apex or, or to name your other thing and anything you want. If, you know, CSS, you know, CSS charts, Oracle Apex, you're going to get jet charts. You're going to get, you know, well, whatever else, you know. And I imagine this is a solvable problem. Like, I assume there's a way to tell Google don't scrape this portion of the page. Yeah, I would think that the, the team that, that's responsible for the forms could figure something out to do that. Or replace made with love with Apex into with like an SVG or something like don't oh, yeah. Go. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, perhaps the person that asked me about this SEO stuff um, huh. has some <laughs> insight into some of this as well. Um, because it, it might be it might be related. Um, so uh, I tell you what, I'll publish my blog post about this, and I'll cross my fingers that Oracle does something to. I, I want it to say "built with love" with with Oracle Apex, but I don't want Google to, to associate everything in every forum uh, to that. So, right. Um, all right. Uh, I guess that's all I got this week. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Well. Have a grand and, grand and glorious weekend, Haven Hayden. I wish the same to you, Anton, and to our many, many viewers. Excellent. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend.